Hi, I'm Phil and welcome to our final topic for the MD STEM Club. The topic for this week and next week is all about weather and using the micro bit uh, for measuring the um, parameters in the weather and in particular we're, we're going to use this chip which is a BME 280 and it's measuring temperature humidity and pressure and we'll display the results on a Grove four-digit LED display but we're also going to use the um, micro bit LED array display and um, when we've got the right temperature we'll show a happy face and if the temperature is too hot or too cold will show a different icon. So this first program the way that it works is that we select a parameter that we want to um, display and at the moment we're showing temperature and the temperature is 25 degrees and we can change that by going to button B to show humidity H fill humidity and the humidity is 57 and if we want to show um, pressure we have to press both buttons together so the pressure is um, 1006 and that's in hectopascals so that's our first project and um, we'll follow that up with um, transporting or communicating those parameters uh, to Microsoft Excel on a PC so we can um, analyze and graph the results and the more complex projects will be next week where we will take some new components and um, we'll use a potentiometer which we'll use to set the uh, desired temperature that we want to turn a fan on so we'll be using the fan bit this is the uh, the fan and the motor and that will be plugged into the bitmaker board and um, we'll create a fan like this desktop fan and we'll see that next week and finally we'll have a look at more advanced projects like um, using rain wind speed and direction and these are all controlled by a different um, hat for the um, bitmaker so um, uh, instead of using bitmaker we're going to use the um, uh, spark fun with a shield hat which is, there's a copy of it so you can see this is actually designed to be used with micro bit and um, it plugs in it not only has BME 280 on it to measure temperature humidity and pressure but it also has um, a connection to um, rain wind speed and direction and also soil temperature and soil moisture and we'll see how this is uh, being used um, in the garden next week so um, that's all for now uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll have a look at the how to make the code for the first two projects hi i'm phil and today we're going to um, do some coding for the weather and our first project i'm going to start here is called weather 2 weather 2a Now, in this um, project, uh, we're going to um, configure the Grove modules, and there'll be two of them. One is a, um, a weather chip, which measures the temperature, pressure, and humidity, and um, it's called BME280. And the other Grove module that we'll be adding is the um, four digit led display so uh, let's go and select those now we need to do that by the extensions and the first one is the type in the bme280 
And the first one that comes up on the left, select that and it will be added to your uh, toolbox. And do the same again for the other Grove module. Go to extensions and type in Grove. And select that. So now you have both the BME 280 with additional um, tools that you can select and drag them across. And you also have the Grove and we'll be using the four digit display. So if we go to our program, the first thing we do is give it a name and I'll just abbreviate that. And that will be shown on the micro bit LED array. Weather to A, that's the name of my program. And um, next thing I'm do, going to do is configure the BME 280 with an address. And that address relates to the I to C communication bus. So when you connect the BME 280, you have to connect it to the I to C port on BitMaker. And the next thing we'll do, we'll go back to the um, tool selection, go right down and select power on. So we've um, got the right address and we've powered it. And what I want to do in this program is um, use two displays. There'll be one display which shows the temperature, humidity and pressure. And I'll select the parameter with the um, buttons, button A, button B, and the combination A plus B on microbit. And I also want to use uh, microbits LED array to show whether I, I'm happy with the temperature. If it's too cold, I'll show a um, unhappy face. And similarly, if it's too hot, I'll show an unhappy face and a smiling face between the temperatures 15 degrees and 30 degrees. So let's set up those parameters now. So the first one will be um, temperature cold and the other one will be temperature hot and we want to set those up so we get um, the first one and the temperature that's hot too hot anything above 30 degrees so that's the threshold and we duplicate that and we set the temperature cold anything below 15 degrees Okay, so um, we'll set those up. What we're going to do is uh, configure now the Grove LED display. So that will go on to uh, port zero. So you get a uh, cable and connect the Grove cable between the four digit display and P0 on BitMaker. But make sure uh, you um, also select port one for the second. So P0. Uh, corresponds to the yellow wire on the Grove cable, and P1 corresponds to the white wire. And the first thing we'll do after that is um, just clear the display. So grab the uh, function and click it just under the previous one. And we've got to pause. What we'll do now is um, go right to the top and select pause for about a second which is 1,000 milliseconds. Okay, so we're going to create two functions. And the first function is going to be get the parameters. So just type that in. Get parameters. And uh, the second function will be to check temperature. I just put those over there and um, I'm going to um, in getting parameters uh, what we might do is call those so we'll put those under forever and 
And um, under get parameters, we're going to create three new variables. The first one will relate to temperature. Humidity. And pressure. And uh, we'll uh, set those up now. So we um, just grab, go to the variables and where it says set my pressure, we'll just put that under the first parameter. And we'll do just duplicate that three times. The first one's going to be temperature. Next one we'll select as humidity. So we've got our three parameters and we want to match those with the uh, Grove BME280. So we just grab the first one, which is temperature. And we'll grab humidity, which is the top one. Then uh, we'll grab the uh, pressure. Now with pressure, there's a choice uh, between Pascal's or hectopascals. And if we show Pascal's, there won't be enough digits on our four digit display. So we want to narrow that down a bit. And we've got the correct, we have a choice between centigrade and Fahrenheit. So we'll select centigrade for our temperature. Humidity will be in percentage. So we've um, set up the first function. And in the second function, we're going to check temperature. So um, we'll go to um, the logic statements, drag the first one across. And under logic, we need to get a second one for the comparison. So um, grab any one of those and populate it. Better to do it outside because it tends to jump around. So uh, get my temperature. Now, if my temperature is, um, let's see, if it's uh, less than the cold maximum, so cold temperature, if it's less than that, we'll set that up as our first condition. And if that happens, we'll show a, um, it's too cold. So what we'll do is show a face and select an icon that looks like an unhappy face. Else, now, if the temperature is too hot, so um, just click on the button there, which um, allows us to extend the if to else. And uh, we do the same again. We can just duplicate that and just change the variable. If my temperature is um, greater than or equals to, the hot temperature, we can also show an unhappy face. There's two conditions there. And we might do, just do it once more. Uh, now we don't need to do that one, we'll delete that. So if it's um, outside of that range, those two ranges, what we can do is show a happy face, duplicate that and show a happy face. So that's all we want to do here uh, on that one. And now to select the parameter for our four digit display. So what we're going to do is use the push buttons. There's button A. And um, we're going, if we press button A, we want to um, uh, we'll go down to Grove and show the temperature. So um, we select the variables, temperature. Right, now all we have, we're going to use button B this time. And instead of button A there, we just select button B. And if we select button B, we're going to show my humidity. 
and uh, we'll duplicate that once more. And if you press both of them together, we're going to show my pressure. Okay, so that's all there is in uh, constructing your first program for the um, weather and um, download that and put it in your microbit computer. And so that's all for the time being. Okay, so um, to extend our previous program, we're going to send the three parameters of temperature, humidity, and pressure to Microsoft Excel via the uh, serial port. And um, that will uh, connect the serial cable, USB cable, uh, will be connected to your PC. And um, we'll use the previous program, but just extend it. So um, what we're going to do here is that um, we're going to use for the first time the logo touch button. And um, we're going to, when we press that, we toggle the a variable called the log flag. Because what we're doing is that we're going to log our results. So the first thing we'll create a new variable. It'll be called log flag. And this acts just like a switch. Uh, so um, we'll just get any of those and we select the log flag and that's going to be false. So we need to go to the logic set of tools and uh, drag out the true and let that click in there and select false. And the uh, next thing I'm going to do is that um, we select, just like the other push buttons, we go to input. And since we've got a version two of Microbit, we can select the logo. So we select, drag that across. And when we um, press on that, we're going to toggle the uh, log flag. So um, we need to do a, a little bit of logic here. And the first thing we do, if, if it's already true, that is, if the uh, log flag, see if we can find the variable, if the, we just bring it across, there it is, log flag. Uh, if it's true, then we'll set it false. So we just go across drag the set log flag, and we're going to um, go back to logic and select true. So, so if it's true, and that's an, a, an abbreviated way to um, express if the log flag is true. So an alternative way of doing that would be to um, uh, go to logic and select that comparison and uh, you um, could then put in log flag if the log flag is true go back to logic so instead of constructing all of that we've got a shorthand version which is that one and if it's true we're going to set it false Else, we set it true. So we're just toggling it. Okay, now we know when we want to log. So we touch the um, logo, touch button, and uh, it then sets that variable called log flag. Now, under checking temperature, what we're also going to do is just log all those. And we do this with a special uh, function, which is um, 
serial. So you select under serial, we're going to uh, write a set of numbers. So we select serial write numbers, and we just put those straight under. And guess what the numbers are? We just go to our three temperature, humidity, and pressure parameters. So the first one we'll just select is temperature. And the next one we'll select is um, go back to variables, humidity. And we'll add one more. So if you want more parameters, you just press the plus button. And uh, instead of item, we want to um, show my pressure. And that's all we need to do. So um, when we check the temperature, we not only show the uh, happy or, or unhappy face, we're also going to send the three measurements uh, to um, a Windows PC via the serial port, and uh, that can go into Microsoft Excel. And we might give that program another name. So the name of my program will be 6A, and we'll just change the name up here. So it's um, W6A. <clears throat> and uh, we're ready to go. So we've, um, there's our whole program, and it should work. Just download it and check that it does work. So that's all for now. Okay, we're going to um, complete the first week of uh, weather programs uh, with comparing the temperature on Bitmaker, because it uh, is able to measure its own temperature with the temperature reading that we get from the BME 280. So um, I've previously saved that. So if you've got your uh, USB drive, just open that up, just import the program, press import, import the program and choose it. Now remember the first program we called was um, uh, weather 2A. So we'll just select that one. It's come, come in from storage, and all we're going to do is modify this program. So it's actually going to be similar uh, to uh, what we did on the last program, uh, but we're going to um, also show the uh, microbit temperature. So the, perhaps the easiest way to do it is, is to use the, um, the button. So the input of the logo button, we'll select that. And we'll just increase it so you can see what's happening. I uh, selected the wrong one there. Better to, um, to have it as big as possible. And um, there is, it's the one just under that one. So it's um, when we touch or press on the logo, we're going to um, do something similar to what we've done with the previous one. Uh, but this time we're going to show the, um, microbit temperature okay so the way that we do that is that we're going to um, set up a uh, a new parameter and the parameter will be microbit temperature And uh, we set, we drag across set microbit temperature, and we want to set that to the microbits temperature. So open up input, and previously we've used the buttons, but there are other things we can do. And the one we want is to select temperature. So just bring that right across and let it click under or next to the uh, set temperature. And just before we do that, we might clear the screen. Um, and there's a good reason for doing that. And um, we'll give it a pause for a little while, say a, about two minutes. Or two seconds, we'll give it a, a 
two second pause. And um, after we've got it, we'll show the result on our um, four digit display. So we just go to Grove, grab the show number, and the number that we want to um, show is the microbit temperature. So um, all we have to do is um, go to variables and get the microbit temperature and just let it click there. So um, that's almost all we have to do. Let's just see uh, if that's enough. That's probably enough. And um, all you have to do is um, download that program. So select download. I, I should have changed the name of the program. So I'll do it again. So I'm going to call it temperature compare 1A. And I should do the same on top. So that'll be temperature compare 1A. And a bit, bit of a quick check to make sure you've done everything right. Uh, all the other uh, functions will stay the same. And all we've done really is to add a, um, a new function down here, which is really a, an event. So when we press the button, we clear the screen, we pause it, and with a clear screen, we can then get the temperature from the micro bit, then display it on the four digit display. So we're ready. We can now download that into our micro bit. And hopefully that should work. Okay, so uh, that's all for now. And uh, next week we've got some new programs. Uh, one is to um, set a fan if the uh, temperature is too uh, high, you want to be cooled down. So we'll be using the fan bit for the first time, but we'll also use a um, uh, set point and, uh, sensor, which is the rotary potentiometer. And we'll talk more about that next week. Bye for now.